Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing okay out there. Today I'll be creating some decor. I'll be first starting off with this hula hoop from the Dollar Tree. You have the option of taking um, the plastic off of the hula hoop. I chose not to because I didn't feel like it would be that serious. I will now be taking um, these shower rings that I also got from Dollar Tree and I'll be gluing them around the hula hoop. And by the way, I used about four packs of shower curtain rings. And I am using just the hot glue gun right now to glue the shower curtain rings to the hula hoop. And then later I'll be coming in with my A6000. Now for the next row, I'll be taking more shower curtain rings and putting them in between. And as you can see, it's not completely even. So what I did was just stack that shower curtain ring on top of the other. Now for my third row, I'm just going in between the other rings again. And I decided to go ahead and just place the rings where they need to be and then take the glue and um, glue the rings together while they're already in place. And I'll be doing the same thing for the last row. And after I was done, I just flipped it around and took my E6000 and I went along each uh, shower ring and just added E6000 so when it dried, it would be permanent. After this was done, I let it dry and then I took it outside and spray painted it silver. I will now be taking my E6000 and my hot glue and I'll be gluing on the circle mirrors. And also, um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, make sure that you are snapping the um, shower rings into place. Uh, there's a snap because if they're still open when you're gluing them, the mirrors won't fit properly. They'll fall inside. Also, in this video, I did not show 
um, when I flipped this piece around and I added extra E6000 and hot glue to the back. But that's definitely something that you should do uh, if you want this to last for a while. So I'm not going to cover the final row um, of the shower curtain rings because I'm going to use that to. So I'm just going to measure where I want the mirror to sit. And then I'm going to add my E6000 glue. Now I'm taking this bling wrap and I'm just going to glue it around the perimeter of the hula hoop. And after I went around the mirror with the bling wrap, I also went around the smaller mirrors and I did the same thing with the bling wrap. I figured I would spare you guys by just doing it off camera because it is literally like watching paint dry. Now the last thing I did was buy this paper towel holder from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be sitting the hula hoop inside like this. And it's going to serve as my display stand until I officially get one. I actually might not get one because this paper towel holder is doing such a good job. And also this can be hung on a wall. I just didn't feel like hanging this on the wall. I actually wanted something to put on top of my tables because I just felt like they were so empty. And if you haven't already checked out my candle holder DIY, uh, the link will be in the description box below. It came out just as I imagined and I am satisfied with this project. Please let me know if you liked it. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe and stay safe out there.